Welcome. In this particular video, we are going to build a speech to text converter using Python. This project uses speech recognition to convert spoken words into text, which can be extremely useful for creating voice controlled applications or just for experimenting with speech to text technology. Uh, for this particular project, I'm going to use, as I mentioned, Python. So the first step will be setting up a Python environment with the necessary libraries. Next, we will uh, capture the audio from the microphone, and then we will use the speech recognition library to convert the audio to text and uh, display the recognized text to the user. So to start off with, the library that I want to use is called as uh, speech recognition. That's the library that I'm going to use. I'm going to also use uh, Py Audio, which is Python audio for uh, for capturing audio uh, for this particular project. So we can first, let's go and set up the Python environment. So now to set up the Python environment, I'm going to open my terminal and first create a virtual environment. So I'm going to say Python minus M VN virtual environment and I'm going to call it speech recognition that's my environment and once i create my environment i am going to activate it by saying source speech recognition slash bin slash activate so that will activate my uh, that that will activate my virtual environment where we will be installing all the other libraries so i'm going to go ahead and uh, install the First, the speech recognition library, speech recognition library, and also Pi Audio. Audio. So let's go and run it. So this will download and install on your machine. Next thing, I already created a speech to text dot Python file on my desktop here. So I'm going to use that for. Uh, writing the code for it. So first thing is uh, we'll use that speech recognition uh, so uh, library that we did or imported or installed speech underscore recognition as SR. So SR that's the short name that I want to use. Then let's initialize this recognizer by saying r equal to SR dot you can look at the uh, documentation for this library but I'm just going to go and install it and you guys can just follow along if you want. Next I want to use the microphone as the source so I'm going to say with sr dot microphone as the source for this I am going to just tell the user that say please say something. So this is the prompt that I will add. Then I will listen to the user input by saying creating this audio dot audio equal to r dot listen to the source. Now next thing that I'll probably try to do is um, look at so get the text from that audio. I can say I can do the text equal to r dot recognize underscore Google audio so what i what the reason i'm calling this is i'm using the recognized uh, google web speech api here so i'm saying recognize the text based on uh, using that particular library that comes with part of the speech recognizer so you don't have to do anything special and i'm going to say you said and once i get that i will display that to the user plus whatever the text is now it's always good to add some try catch so I'm going to add a try here if there's an exception and except if there is SR dot, uh, let's say there's an unknown value error. So that's one unknown, unknown value error. I'm going to say print, sorry, I could not understand the audio audio so that's the first thing first error another thing that i can look at as except sr dot request error so in this case um, 
could not uh, request results from Google. The Google search uh, recognition service might be down. So that's what I'm trying to display here. So if you couldn't connect to internet or something goes wrong, that's, this will take care of it. Could not request results from Google speech recognition service. So these are two errors and that's that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to do this. So let's run it and see if it works or if it gives me some uh, error. So the let me just make sure that clear the screen. And first I'll say Python speech to text dot py. So it gave me an error saying that, okay, I don't have some uh, dist utilities installed in this particular so i'm just gonna say let's clear it out pip if you get this error just say install upgrade setup tools so i'm gonna get that once i have that now it should work so i'm just gonna run that python again so it says please say something and i'm already saying something so let's see if it can listen to my voice and convert it into text And there you go. If you see, it, whatever I was saying, it just picked pick that up and printed it out. Let me try one more time. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. And there you go, exactly what I said. So it does work perfectly, but what if you want to run it constantly, uh, continuous speech recognition kind of thing. So what you can do here is, let's go ahead and update this. I'm gonna say while, true i want to constantly run this so i'm going to run a while loop here and i'm going to say with sr dot source okay and i'm going to say audio dot listen uh, i'm going to run all these things let me just push them away or try so it's going to recognize call the api that's perfect and now if i want to stop it uh, so what i'm going to do here is if the user says stop in text dot lower so let's say i say stop it should stop the recording and it will print stopping to the user and break out the while loop so that's what i'm doing here let's run this you clear it hello how are you doing how was your day Let's see if this works and shows me a continuous loop. It does work. So I guess I have to pause after a little while. And since I said stop over there, or I said pause, I didn't say stop. So it probably will stop now. And there you go. It stopped after a little while because it heard the word stop in there and uh, it stopped. So this is how you can build your own um, speech recognizer where you can just convert speech to text and you can, I mean in this case I'm using my microphone to feed the text but you can use uh, any audio and then kind of convert it into text if you want to. So I hope this helps and if you have any questions on this let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you.